Hey, Jim, we should sponsor a charity. Uh, you got an idea? Uh, you remember a few months back when we were down a landing, you had a friend of yours in from Denver. He was a slide trombone player. Alan, Fre Alan Fredrickson. Yeah, sure, I remember. He had a band up there in Denver, and uh, they used to play out at a place in the Denver suburbs. Yeah, he told me about a charity his band sponsors in, in Denver. And, you know, I think we ought to give him a call and maybe get some ideas. Okay, let me call him. Hello, this is Alan. Uh, this is Jim. Well, Alan, uh, Al is interested in getting some kind of charity activity going here. Uh -huh. He wants to give back, and I told him you had this experience with your jazz band, and I thought maybe you'd give us the benefit of your experience. You're talking about Gumperson's disease. Yeah, Gumperson's disease. It's, it's a good case in point. Well, uh, years ago, uh, after we achieved some degree of success, we were struck by uh, the fact that famous performers sponsored a charity, which helped the charity and uh, lent a, a little glorification to their own names. And uh, casting about for a good disease to sponsor, we discovered that all the good diseases had already been taken. But then we discovered Gumperson's disease, uh, not a household word, as you can well imagine. Actually, it's uh, one of the rarest diseases known to man. We anticipated the question, you know, why did you pick that disease? First of all, we picked it because there are no known symptoms of this disease. Secondly, the reason it's not well known is because Gumperson was the only one who ever had it. And since there are no known symptoms, what we were collecting the money for was to find out how to get it again. Because you can't cure it if you can't get it. To impress people with what a serious problem this is, since there are no known symptoms, if you feel good right now, you might have it. <laughs> what happened to Gumperson? <laughs> well, uh, he died. Oh, he died. He died. That's what it is called Gumperson's disease. I see, I see. Well, did he die a young man? Uh, right in mid, in full flight, in midlife. In midlife? Yes, sir. Well, all right, look, thanks very much. We'll probably call you again. All right, all right. Take care.